Researchers have turned to the wise jellyfish for inspiration on new material. But not just any material, a transparent self-healing material. Ooh, sounds fancy. So jellyfish have been around for a, you know, a little while, at least, at least you know, 10, 10 years, believed to actually be in the region of 500 to 700 million years. So yeah, they, they actually do know a thing or two. So scientists from the National University of Singapore are looking to create a transparent, stretchable, touch sensitive and self healing material that can be used in aquatic environments. Oh, that sounds totally easy, doesn't it? Huh? Yeah, yeah, totally easy. Well, they've been looking at plenty of alternatives around, but few, you know, tick all the boxes. Many of the self healing materials available are obviously not transparent. They don't work well underwater or in water, should I say. So, well, you know, what do good, all good scientists do? Well, they turn to nature for inspiration. And what's squidgy, see-through, and works well when wet? Do you not know? It's jellyfish, guys, come on. That was so obvious. <laughs> the newest thing in technology is flexible screens that crack and tech that isn't rigid. So they're looking for, you know, for this material to be used on water resistant touchscreens. Aquatic soft robots, aquatic soft robots, really? Okay, that's a thing. And anything else that, you know, that, that, that these think tanks can come up with. So soon we might have submersible robots like James Cameron's at The Abyss. Oh no, why have you got a re every time you do a script, you've always got a reference The Abyss. Anyway, they've managed to create something of that, something that mimics the water resistant nature of jellyfish skin uh, while still being touch sensitive. That's pretty cool actually. They're not bad, these scientists. Right, so quoting, I'm quoting the article right now, guys. These are definitely not my words because they are way too long. Uh, they succeeded by creating a gel comprising of a fluoral carbon based polymer with a fluorine rich, I, or ironic, ionic, thank you, liquids. Thanks, Mark. Uh, when combined with the polymer network, interacts with the uh, ionic liquid via highly reversible ion. Dipole interactions, dipole, yeah, it looks like dipole to me, uh, which allows it to self heal. C cool. <laughs> Material, materials science and engineering assistant professor Benjamin T explains most conductive polymer gels, such as hydrogels, would swell when submerged in water or dry out over time in, you know, in air. So what makes our material different is that it can retain its shape in both wet and dry surroundings. It works well in seawater and even acidic or alkaline environments. Nailed it. Anyway, now this sounds like science fiction. These guys are working with flexible materials that can sense touch and measure things like pressure and stretching forces applied to it for, more, for a more natural interaction. And because it's self-healing, it will go a long way to actually reduce plastic pollution. Because if your phone or tablet is made of with this and you drop it or you, you, know, you don't throw it away, it can just you know, heal itself. Cool, that's amazing. You tell I didn't write this, guys. So what else can we learn from the humble jellyfish? I mean, plenty of politicians seem to also be working without a brain in this day and age. So maybe there is something we can, you know, can learn. Let's talk squid, oh, Ridley, really, Mark? Let's talk squidly. Squidgy. Squid, let's talk squidgy self-healing tech in the comments, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, stay classy, scuba divers. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.